We're working for Hawaii. This is the KHON2 News at 4 with Gina Mangieri and Justin Cruz. Good afternoon and welcome to a special web-only newscast of our KHON2 News at 4. Some tense moments for passengers on board a Hawaiian Airlines flight from Oakland, California to Honolulu after the cabin and cargo hold started filling up with smoke. The pilot declared an emergency and Flight 47 landed safely at Daniel K. Noy International Airport. Manola Morales joins us from the airport with the latest. Manola? Yeah, Justin, Flight 47 from Oakland landed just before noon today. The flight crew, flight crew had to release those emergency slides in order to get nearly 200 passengers quickly, and I mean in less than a minute, off the plane. Hawaiian Airlines says all eight slides were deployed shortly after landing and got all passengers to safety in 30 to 45 seconds. This after both the cabin and the cargo hold filled with smoke about 20 minutes before landing. It's had a warning off in the cockpit and that's what uh, prompted the emergency response at the emergency landing and the fact that the smoke was still prevalent uh, on arrival uh, that was what was prompting the uh, evacuation. Snook says that the crew automatically puts on masks if they sense their smoke and the possibility of a fire, but oxygen masks for passengers were not released because that could do more harm than good. If we don't want to pump oxygen into the aircraft in case there's, there's fire in the aircraft somewhere. Now there's been no visible evidence of fire, um, so no, no uh, visible flames um, on arrival. Five adults and two children were sent to the hospital for minor respiratory concerns. Snook says it's still too early to say what caused the smoke and where it came from. Emergency officials say passengers, crew and first responders did a good job in preventing more injuries. Much of the concerns is not the stepping off of the aircraft, but the sudden stop at the bottom. So uh, uh, just a few bumps and bruises shows that uh, uh, evacuation was done orderly, and I think uh, shout out to the Hawaiian staff in making sure that as they were coming off the aircraft, it was done in an orderly manner. Now, officials also commended the passengers uh, uh, for cooperating. They were told not to bring any of their carry-on luggage while they were evacuating. So aside from those bumps and bruises, they were able to evacuate quickly and safely. Justin, back to you. All right, Manolo, thank you. Well, no doubt a scary moment for passengers on board. Sarah Madison spoke with some of them and continues our coverage. Sarah. That's right. Now, we're at Terminal 1's baggage claim, and some of the passengers tell us that they were told to stay here to collect their bags. But right now, at the moment, there's some conflicting information as to exactly where they can pick up their bags. Now, passengers we spoke to tell us that about half an hour before landing, while they were descending, that's when the emergency started. And for the most part, they said that it was the atmosphere and the cabin inside and all the passengers were surprisingly calm. There was no fire, but there was smoke in the cargo hold and cabin. One passenger was able to record this footage of the intense and frightening moment on board. The smoke just continued to get thicker and thicker. It got to the point uh, you could only see maybe four or five feet in front of you. They all uh, said to uh, get as low as you possibly could to the ground to try and breathe in the fresh air that was closer to the ground. And all of a sudden, the cabin just filled up with smoke. So um, we just all had to kind of go like this to breathe and and um, he said, we're going to have to come in hot, you know, and he said, prepare for an emergency landing and, and evacuation. So we all had our heads and everything down like that, and he did a perfect landing. What was going through your mind at the time? I was scared. I've flown so much, and I've never had anything like this happen before. The emergency landing took place on the runway, and passengers evacuated using the plane's emergency slides as first responders were standing by. What was it like going down the emergency slide? That's a pain because, um, you know, I, my back, is, I don't have a real good back. And I said, when I slide down there, somebody needs to catch me at the bottom. They didn't. I just hit one off the bottom of the slide and hit the, hit the cement. And then the fireman finally picks me up. At this time, officials say seven passengers were transported to local hospitals due to smoke-related symptoms. All other passengers and crew were shuttled back to a terminal. 
Now, passengers also tell us that Hawaiian Airlines is reimbursing them or refunding their round-trip ticket, whoever was on flight 47. Now, we have more interviews with passengers, so stay with us. Back to you in the studio. Sarah, thank you. Now, the last time a Hawaiian flight had to make an emergency landing due to smoke was in March of 2017. That's when an odor of smoke filled the cabin, also Flight 47 from Oakland to Honolulu. The flight was diverted to Maui. No one was hurt. And in May of 2015, Flight 118 from Honolulu to Kona was forced to make an emergency landing in Kahului because one of the engines surged and filled the cabin with smoke. We will continue to follow this Hawaiian Airlines emergency on air and online at KHON2.com. Thank you for joining us on this special digital-only newscast. We'll have so much more coming up on air after the NFL preseason football game.